Hi all, greetings from Purple Desk. In this session, let us see what we will be covering. So we will be referring to the manual which has been created for Selenium. So this is the document which we have been uh, seeing for all the topics. So looking at the contents, we have covered Selenium web driver overview. We were talking about uh, the evolutions of uh, Selenium and uh, in the next session covered uh, all the installation part. We spoke about uh, how to install Java and configure it, how to configure Eclipse, how to uh, configure Selenium to Eclipse and uh, we also saw how to install Firebug and Firepath add-ons to Firefox browser. So the next session covered how to create a program, a Java project in Eclipse where uh, we covered how to open a Firefox browser, how to navigate to a URL and uh, we also covered how to get the title of a page where uh, it also included how to close a browser and uh, quit a browser. Today we'll be seeing how to locate an elements. So what are all the different types of uh, locators available? So if you see the manual, there are like seven to eight locators available, which is ID, name, class name, XPath, CSS selector, link text, partial link text, and tag name. Let us see one by one. We'll also be covering handling web elements one in this session. We'll be seeing how to simulate a click operation, how to handle a text field, and how to handle a button. So I'll be taking this session combinedly with uh, locating elements and how to handle web elements. So let us see how to inspect an element and uh, find ID of an element. So as we see here, uh, the example says, it talks about a page wherein it has a login information uh, which will hold username, password and uh, a login button. So before getting into this, let us uh, talk about Selenium documentation. I wanted to show in the previous session, but uh, unfortunately I was not able to open that. So talking about Selenium documentation. So which is nothing but uh, the Java doc, which was created for uh, people to understand what are all the methods available. Let me see, let me search and see Java doc. So this is Java doc. Yes, I got it. So this was a link which I was talking about, which will explain what are all the methods, classes available in Selenium. We will be uh, covering a lot of uh, methods by class name, by CSS selector, by ID. These are, these are the uh, methods which I was talking about. So this, this belongs to a class called by you you can uh, refer to this later whenever you need to uh, check what methods you need to use you can always refer to this uh, java doc now we'll be seeing uh, how to handle a login page so as i told you earlier there's this page which was created for demo purposes i'm opening that page so demo.populus.net so in this page will be login practice form if you click on it it opens the username and password I'm trying to inspect this using firebug and firepath so this is the inspector when you hover over username and uh, email text field it's giving me an x path we were talking about id name class name so xpath is also uh, one of the locator which we'll be talking about let us see about xpath now so when i click on this this is going to give me the xpath here so i'm going to copy the entire thing leaving this dot so when i copy this when i'm opening this uh, locators so this was a test project which i was creating so let me create a fresh uh, project for you uh, I'll create a class let the project be the same so 
so i am right click and creating a class called locators demo so once i have created it uh, since i have already added the selenium standalone jar we don't have to add it again we have actually copied the xpath we'll start from the beginning all we need to do is open a firefox driver as you know this is the command which is used to open a firefox driver when you hover on it it will give me all the recommendations i have to click web driver which is next to org.openqa.selenium so when i click on that it gets added and firefox driver also is from openqa selenium package so i click on it and it gets added so now when i say driver dot get is a method which we'll be using to navigate to the urls i've tasted this here that was the x path i'll copy this url here and i'll paste it inside a double quote let us see how how it works i'm trying to run this we'll add one step we'll execute it so that you will understand what is the flow so i've actually uh, opened it it opened the browser and uh, it is trying to navigate to that url uh let's see uh whether the page is loading or not page is refreshing so it got loaded so the next step would be uh, i have to enter the username password i need to inspect the username first then enter some text inside the username i need to inspect the password text field and then insert i mean enter a password and then click on the login button so let us see how to do that how to simulate it so as i was talking uh, earlier so i'll be covering uh, how to identify an element using different locators and also we also we were also talking about uh, how to handle a text field how to handle a click and how to handle a button if you see here we'll be inspecting this text field and uh, we'll also cover how to send values to it so i'm trying to find so before that i'll be assigning it to a web element when i say control space bar it gives me recommendation where i can click web element which is an interface so i can create a variable name and I will not find element by dot. We were talking about xpath. If you remember, this opens me a string ex expression. I gave a semicolon. So this is where I need to paste my xpath. Let me inspect the xpath. I copied all the text leaving the dot, and I have pasted it here. so taking this variable again i'll be passing values so what is a method which is used for passing values if you see here there is a method called send keys so send keys will send all the keys if you if you enter a string which is nothing but a character sequence when i try to run it 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 will try to navigate to the url and uh, enter purple in the username field so let us see how it works so the page is taking time to load we'll be able to see the username field will be populated uh, by the text which we are entering So if you see here, the purple text got added in the username text field. So I'm closing this window. 
let us see how to enter values in password field. I'll again use the same xpath. So I've copied this xpath here. Before that, I need to create one more web element. Password, which is a variable. Say so driver dot find element by xpath. And uh, inside double quotes, and paste this. So password dot send keys. As I, as I told you earlier, send keys is used to send text. So I'll paste desk. And this hopefully will uh, enter value into the password field. So we'll uh, execute it and see whether it's working fine or not. So I have executed the program. The page is trying to load. So what we expect here is the username and password text field to be populated with the text which we have uh, sent in the program. So it is loading. After uh, entering username and password, uh, we should click on the login button. The username and password which I have provided is the wrong username and password. Probably we'll be getting a pop-up which will say it is a wrong credentials. So we'll talk about it later. Let us see uh, the page is loading or not. Okay, before that, uh, let it load. We'll try to inspect the login button and see how to handle it. If you see here, there's a login button. When I hover on it, it says uh, it says login. The XPath which is used here is this. I'm just trying to copy this XPath leaving the start. And what I'll do is create one more web element and say login button. Sorry. login button and uh, driver dot find element so let's see whether it's loaded or not it's taking a lot of time it could be due to internet issue so i'm trying to find this using xpath so after entering this what i have to do is click on this button which can be done using click. So after clicking on this button, it should actually show me a pop-up window displaying it is a wrong credential. It is actually a pop-up window. Uh, we'll talk about how to handle a pop-up window later, not in this session. So I'm not trying to close this uh, for one reason because pop-up handle pop-up window has to be handled in a different way, and then we need to close. Or else the window doesn't get closed. So this this is taking a longer time. Let me close terminate this program and uh, rerun this again. So the instant doesn't close even after I terminate the program. So you need to manually go and close it. So let me run it again. Let us see the issues fixed or not. So I'm trying to run it. Yeah, the page got loaded. So if you see here, it entered purple and uh, it entered password. It clicked on the login button. So this was the pop-up uh, window which I was talking about. Handling of this window has to be uh, done in a different fashion. Uh, we'll not be speaking about this in this session. Probably we'll be covering in the later sessions. I click on OK to close this button because I was not using driver.quit or close because it will not allow me to close it. So let me click on OK and then close it. So once I close this, next step would be how to how to find uh, the same elements which we found using different uh, uh, locators.
so we were talking about expat and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, different ways of uh, using an expat let me talk about it you can customize your own expat if you see here I'm talking about the username so we used an expat which was provided by Firefox uh, plugin which is Firebug so you can also create your own expat by uh, writing your own expat like I'll show you an example there is a tag which says placeholder which is unique so what I'll do I'll use the double quotes I can say star uh, star means find within any tag let me explain you before using star okay let me use star and uh, explain you what happens here so at placeholder so at placeholder is uh, the key name so I'll be giving the value here I'm copying this and pasting it here after I copy this I'll replace this xpath with the one which I have created and I try to run this the page should again enter the username uh, password and click on the login button let us wait for the page to load so that is one way of creating expat uh, you can create your own expat the, uh, the star which, uh, is something which will look for all the tags if you see the code the code which we saw so let the page load before that uh, we'll see what it was if I say star it not only looks in the input field it also looks in a tag with name P BR and everything yeah I think the page has loaded yes the page got loaded and clicked on a button so it entered purple if you see here we gave a customized path and it entered uh, exactly in the username text feed so I am closing this so as I was explaining you if you give star it looks in the all all the all the HTML tags if you specifically say input it will only look for tags which has got inputs which is lot faster than what we did is last time so instead of star what I need to do is provide the tag name the exact tag name where it has to check so let me try to run it again so you can create your own XPath so when uh, you don't have to uh, only take the XPath provided by file but these are the stuffs uh, which we'll be seeing in XPath uh, next topic would be CSS selector so let us see how to pick element using CSS selector uh, even for finding CSS selector we'll be using firebug and firepath so let this page load we'll, be wait, we'll wait for this page to load in the meantime uh, we'll see how to find a CSS path I think the page got loaded yes see it entered purple in the text field username text field so I'm trying to close this browser after closing this uh, we'll be seeing how to find out a CSS name so I'm inspecting this this is providing me a text which which starts with hash I'm copying it completely so after copying it what I'll do is I'll change it to CSS selector so I'll be replacing it with the one which I have copied now I pasted it so let me try to run this and see whether it's working fine or not I'm trying to execute the same script uh, using CSS selector the 
page will page is taking some time uh, let's talk about uh, profiles if you notice here you 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 will not be able to find the fire bug which i have installed even if you maximize it you won't be finding it but the profile which i am using has a fire bug what is the difference this got loaded so i'm closing it so css selector also works fine so i'll be closing this so if you see here the one which got opened by firefox i mean the selenium driver was a different instance of firefox and the firefox which i have opened is a different instance because it has got a different plugin i mean the plugin which i have installed so what is the reason so how do i open the same instance so go to run you need to create your own profile if you see here it says firefox.exe hyphen p this is the command for you to open the configuration setting sorry uh, before that what you need to do is there's an important step which needs to be done click on alt it shows file you have to exit it not by closing it if you close it it will not work you have to exit it completely and then go click on this run click on run and uh, when you click on run it will show it will open up and you need to enter firefox.exe hyphen capital p or profile manager you can enter the whole profile manager here sorry got close here i'll click on the run when i run on it uh, i'll be entering l e m a n a g r when i click on this it should open me the appropriate sorry there is some instance which is again running try to open it yeah this was the profile which i was talking about if you properly exit a firefox browser then this user profile will open up and uh, i have created my own profile usually you you will tend to see a profile which will say default you can select on it and you can rename your profile i have renamed my profile to purple desk so you have to click on start firefox it will open the profile which you have created you can create any number of profiles after creating this profile how will you make selenium to open the same profile so there is a piece of code which can be used if you see here there is something called file profile uh, sorry profile ini which is a part of uh, selenium firefox you say profile ini I create profile. I am just creating an object for this uh, class called profile. INA. After creating this, I'll be creating Firefox profile. So I'm creating, and now I'm not be creating an object for this using a new create new uh, operator what i'll do here is i'll call this object and say get profile so this get profile will has to take in an input parameter which is nothing but your profile name the profile name which i have i have created was purple desk i'll give the exact name here after that i'll copy this ff profile and pass into the firefox browser what happens here when i try to pass in so i am asking it to get the profile of purple desk not an instance of Fire, firefox browser i am asking to open my own profile here and i am passing it to the firefox driver so that the instance which creates now will be the same profile which i am using let us see whether it's creating 
it's opening my own profile or not so how to find whether it's opening my browser my profile is to find the file bug here see the file bug started showing up here so it's more easy when you open this firefox browser it's easy for you to inspect elements so there are a lot of lot of advantages over this you can uh, bypass security exceptions if you are opening your own browser i'll show you where this very much used so the page got opened and uh, i'm closing this again so this is how you will open your own profiles uh, which i was talking in the beginning of the session and i said i'll be showing you how to open your own profile so now we know how to open your own profile so we'll see how to find an element using uh, the, the remaining locators there are uh, id name and class name so we'll be covering id name and class name i'm navigating to the page here the page which we were looking at when i try to inspect it is giving me the html code if you see here there is id class name and there is also a name so let us find id here i'm copying this id i'll copy this and i'll provide it in the code so you are using css selector i'll provide id here and replace this with id and we'll see whether this is working fine or not when i try to run this the page is loading since i'm using my own profile it opens in the maximized state let me comment out for a while no problem if i use the same stop see it entered purple so i gave i found this element using id and still my page is working fine my script is working fine let me replace it with the name name is nothing but the user name so i'll replace it with name here i'm pasting it here and i'm trying to run this same program and we'll see whether it's working or not so if it gives if it enters the text purple in the username the script is working fine so let's wait for the page to load once the name locator is working fine we'll be looking at the class name we'll be seeing how to inspect an element using link text partial link text and uh, tag name if you see there it actually entered the text purple and clicked on the login button so i'll close this we'll see the remaining class name so the class name says the user name so i'm actually calling this so we'll see whether the script is working fine or not i'm actually using class name to find that element the page is trying to load so locators which we saw where expat how to find the element using css selector how to find using id name and uh, now we are seeing class name so we'll be also seeing link text partial link text and tag name only three are remaining i'll show you how to handle them so to handle them you need to navigate to a different url 
when the page is loading and uh, yes it has entered purple if you see here it has entered the text purple here and uh, I'm closing this window so to see uh, how to find the text I mean find the element using link text partial link text and tag name will create a new class here so I'll say locators underscore demo one demo two okay I'll copy the same text Copy the same text. This profile. So this is not the URL which we need. We'll be needing basics. So then basics URL. So there are links. Then click on links. So what, what is the scenario I should perform? The, when I click on the links submenu, so it's actually showing me a link uh, which says visit purple desk. So this is a text which I'm trying to click on. So when it says link text, the text which is actually used for over the link is something called link text. We'll be taking the complete text for clicking this uh, element or uh, get uh, finding this element uh, to say that the appropriate word is finding that element we can use also use partial link text which will be something like uh, visit purple or purple desk uh, purple desk will also give us a link to this even this is a link so we'll be using visit purple uh, let me inspect this links submenu here. I'll be finding this using a uh, XPath. I have to select this. Find using an XPath. So this is the XPath. Before that, we need to copy and give this URL. To remember we will navigate into a different URL. So I paste it this. Next step would be driver dot find element by xpath, right? I'm providing an xpath, and all I need to do give is the xpath and the in between the string expression. I'm copying this xpath again, leaving this dot. And I'm pasting it here. So after pasting it, what I'll do is I'll use click method directly without creating a variable. What I'll do, I'll directly use this click method instead of creating a variable and then calling that variable. Uh, uh, after after using that variable, you you need to give, give click instead of creating the variable. This will actually uh, will save you a lot of memory. So I'm directly using this line. So when I try to run this, it should actually click on the links submenu. So let us see whether it's clicking or not. So the browser has opened. So let's wait for the links submenu to get clicked. The page is getting loaded and uh, the link submenu got clicked. So once after the link menu has got clicked, we are able to see visit purple desk link here. So what we should do now is click on this visit purple desk link by using either link text or partial link text. Let us see that. So when I open this page here, I can inspect this visit purple desk. When I, when I inspect this, I can provide the whole text. Saying that was a fine element by 
uh, we were talking about link text right so link text will be the complete text semicolon and uh, all I need to do is click on it the last time when I was trying to click on this link um, the window which was opening on um, clicking on the link was not working I was not able to find out what the issue was when I manually open the site purpledust.net it was working fine let us see whether it's working fine now or not so the window is opening so once the window opens it's going to click on uh, the submenu links and then click on visit purple desk it opens a coming soon page so i'm closing it so once it clicks on it we'll try partial link text here say partial link text by take away everything I'll say visit purple hello Let's say visit purple let us see it's working fine or not it has to open click on links uh, sub menu and uh, So I click on links okay it got opened so it's opening purpledust.net so I close this uh, window as well so we saw link text we saw partial link text and uh, now we can see tag name how to find using a tag name so what is a tag name if you see here I'll navigate to text field so the button so the text field we have already seen how to find uh, a text field inspect find an element uh, which is a text field and uh, do send keys operation over it we have already seen that let's not waste time on it uh, we have also seen uh, how to click on a button there are two ways of clicking on a button uh, i'll show you that how to click on a button let me write a script for it I'm actually copying this link. I'll replace it here. So now if I replace it here, it will be clicking on button. Instead of links, it will be clicking on button by tag name. I say tag name. What tag? So tag would be input. If it is link, it would say A. If it is P, it would say P. If it is a paragraph, it says P. I inspect on this element, which says input, right? And I copy on this. Let us print. Let us try to click on this. Not tried it. Let's wait for the browser to open. Yeah, the browser is opening. So it should click on uh, the sub menu button. After clicking on it, it should go and click on the click me button. So once once it gets clicked, the text on the button should change to a uh, text which reads you clicked me it's not clicking so it means that there are a lot of input buttons available okay let, let us see how many buttons are available we'll find by using elements or size we'll be covering this in uh, later sessions but i'm just curious to know why it does not click i'll try to run it I'm sorry i'm not printing the size right so i need to print and see 
why it is not printing now i'll try to run it will actually get all the elements with tag name input in that page and it will print the size let us see that so the page is loading so if there are more than two or three it should be printing me yeah there are two locators so I'm not sure which input it is that so if it is only one it would have given me this so let me check whether i can demonstrate it to you let it be so if there's only one uh, element which is provided in the page or if uh, the tag is unique it's going to give you the hold of that element just by providing tag name people don't use tag names often it is actually used for handling uh, drop down where you'll have to uh, inspect all the values which are provided in the drop down I'll explain that later. So for now, let's understand that yes, you can find an element by using tag name as well. But all you have to do is uh, provide the right tag for you to inspect. Even if there are two to three tags, you need to find out which tag or which element you need. And after finding that element, you need to perform operations on it. So we also saw how to find out an element using uh, a locator called tag name so moving on to next so as i told you we'll be seeing how to click on a button so text field is already done so in the text field with the inspect on this It's the same, it will have an ID. You can use an ID or a name or an X path or a CSS selector as well. When you use this, you can easily find out that element and perform operations on it. There are a lot of operations which you can perform. For now, all we know is how to send text to the text field. And the next would be button. So this button, as we saw, we can inspect this button where it has got the class name it has got the name and uh, it doesn't have an id so you don't have an option so all you can do is like you can inspect it using an xpath or css selector or the better option would be the name and next better option would be the class name so let's take name here which is nothing but btn text so let us see how to click on that button i'm actually sorry i'll come into this but line here so if you see here this line actually clicks on the menu button menu button meaning it clicks on the button so after clicking it we have to find this element and click on it to see whether the button is clicked or not and so i'll be entering find one by as we discussed earlier like we'll be using name so when i provide name here and i'll try to click it So I've clicked it. Let us see what happens. I'm trying to run this. I try to run this. It's it has to go and click on that button. 
So once clicking on that button, the text should change. Let us see how it works. So it will click on the button. Yes, if you see here, the click me text got changed to you click me. So this is one way of clicking on a button. Okay. So instead of that, there is also an option for you to use a method called submit. I hope this method works. see it actually did not work I'll tell you where exactly the summit works it actually works in a page where login a page which will have login I'll show you that so we're talking about this login page right so there is a login button if you remember yes here it is This should, this should actually read a type submit. If you see here, the line is actually commented out. So if it reads type as submit, this will work. If you see here, the button doesn't read as submit. It says button. The type is button. If a button reads as I've actually commented out for some reason I don't remember why I commented out in the code so if you see here I have actually commented out the type basically so if you provide it as a type then definitely when you provide a method called submit the page will work the button will get clicked so there are two types of handling a button if a button is of type submit you can also use submit method so that is how we will be handling uh, buttons let us see what the reference manual says here we have covered how to find a element using xpath we have covered how to find an element using id we also saw how to I'm sorry we also saw how to find out an element using name and class name and we also used xpath that was the first locator which we used next would be css vector we also used it and for links we actually navigated to a menu which says button and sorry the links and we clicked on a url it says visit purple desk so navigating down we also saw linked text, we saw partial link text and uh, we also saw tag name, how to find a tag name, how to find an element using a tag name and uh, the next topic which I was talking about, we will be covering this in the same session, we actually covered it, let us see what all are covered in this. So simulating a link, so we actually simulated a link which is nothing but we were trying to click on a button menu and uh, links if you remember it's it's actually a link which with a tag name called a 
it is actually under the tag name called A, right? So we actually clicked on a link basically. And we also tried to click on visit purple desk, if you remember. So that is also a link. So the difference, difference is like we tried clicking using uh, different locators, but end, end of like uh, the point is like we were trying to click on the link. So let us see what, what else is left out. This is the code. This is handling click. So if you see here, all they are doing is like find out the X path of a link and just click on this link. This link is nothing but the text field menu. How do you handle a text field? As we actually, we earlier we saw this, we inspect this text field. After inspecting this text field, we'll actually send keys. We'll uh, send text to it. That's what we saw. And so in case we close handling a button. If I remember, if you remember, I also spoke about how to click on a button. How to click on a button if it is a, it is of type submit. You should try it. Uh, search for a button which has got a type submit and click on it. This is a source code uh, which actually used to click on a button. Next would be radio button. We'll uh, cover this uh, demo in the next coming session. So we'll be talking about uh, how to handle a radio button, how to handle a drop down and everything. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. If you really like us, don't forget to like us in the Facebook. Thank you.